New video from the manual where we will see the new features included in this new version, version 1.0.267. Here in the panel for generating the final mesh we have the new make reel option. This will serve for what would be the entire process of generating the final mesh. With make reel we can do it in a single click with the alt plus m keyboard shortcut. We will have the final mesh of the selected branches ready to sculpt. Additionally, this mesh will take us to blocking mode. This will allow us to combine the work of remeshed meshes and branches with a single click. Let's see an example with this branch. I'm going to duplicate it. If we press the make real option, we get a remeshed mesh from the branches we had selected. I can enter sculpt mode and sculpt the final generated mesh. And what it has also done in addition to generating the final mesh and bringing it to us in blocking mode, is taking the branch to the rest zone. This way we could recover it and reuse it whenever we want. Then here we can change the options to give more detail to the remesh. And when we press Alt plus M, it generates the mesh with the new value and sending the branch to the rest zone. So when pressing the shortcut it doesn't do all the steps directly. It will join if we mark here the branches by material when generating the final mesh. Let's see it. We duplicate the branches, change the material, and if we do make real of all these branches, it will join them by material if we have it activated. And as always it sends the used branches to rest mode. We can deactivate automatically applying remesh to try out which one we need by trying different values. Once we have a correct value, we leave the auto apply remesh option marked, it will allow doing the final mesh generation with the appropriate values in a single step. Let's see how we could use it on the character. We select these branches, we have two materials, if we select join by material it will generate two objects. We already have the appropriate remesh value calculated previously and remesh marked applied, now we get the final meshes and we can continue with the sculpting of that part. We could join them with Blender's join and applying make real we would have the meshes united to continue sculpting. For example this other part, since we have resolution and everything marked, we do make real and now we have this part ready to sculpt, as always it sends the used branches to rest mode. So this process in a single click is the same as if we did everything manually, for example with these lips. Prepare selected, generate, join, or not as needed. Remesh. Apply, and the generated mesh would be in surfaces mode. We would have to go to custom mode. Send to edit in blocking and then hide the used branches. So all of this with a single click with the new make real feature.
Let's delete these branches and meshes. Now I'm going to recover the sculpture I had in surfaces mode to bring it to blocking. This way, now using this make real option and since we can do blocking of new volumes over the high with new branches, we convert them quickly to mesh to incorporate them into our sculpting process. Let's see it. Let's take a look at some other small features added in this version. Now we have this button to initialize the add-on. Just like before we had the Ctrl plus Alt plus Shift plus W keyboard shortcut, now we can initialize the add-on in this button. And also finish it here instead of using the keyboard shortcut. Another small new feature added is the ability to select branches by material. So if we have some object with a selected branch, here in the add-on header bar we can look for this by mat button to select all branches that share the same material. This way all those with the same material are selected, here we can see they have symmetry. Another new feature is face sets. When we join branches in an object either selected or by material, we can tell it to generate face sets or not. Before it always generated them, now we can use this option to say we don't need face sets and don't have to hide them if they were annoying when sculpting. Let's generate hair to try it. We select it by material. Prepare branches, in this case we only mark selected. Prepare. Generate. And now we could join them by material or if we uncheck we would join the selected ones. And having face sets enabled, we join, then when we're done with remesh and apply remesh. The generated mesh has face sets, we enter sculpt mode and see that for each branch that formed it, it has a face set to use in sculpt mode as we want. Now we can generate the same hair mesh, prepare from selected, generate, join without checking face sets, remesh and apply. Now the new mesh doesn't have face sets. And these are the new features added in this version 1.0.267. I hope you like the news. Thank you very much for subscribing, for your like and for your support to keep developing the add-on. See you soon.